Um, so we're here today with Eric Masters, VP of Marketing at Relias Learning. Thank you so much for um, coming over. We really appreciate you taking part in this brand new girls project. Um, so the first question that I have to ask you is, what does branding mean to you? Well, thanks. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here and look forward to the conversation. Um, for, for me, branding is, is a very complex term and it, it to me comes from uh, my experience both at Coca-Cola and in consumer goods as well as in B2B type environments. And essentially to me, branding is what do consumers or your clients feel about your product or your company and what does your name or what do your trademarks and what do those things mean to them? So it's a very visceral, emotional type of response um, about what your company or product means to people and how they feel about you. Mm -hmm. And one of the really interesting, challenging things about that, and this is part of a class that I teach at Relias, is when you realize and understand that you do not own your brand. No matter what you want to say about your brand or what you want it to represent out in the marketplace, the fact is, is that your clients and the consumers out there are the ones who own the brand, and they are the ones who determine what that brand represents and what it stands for, regardless of what it is that you're trying to say about it. Would, would that, would it be safe to say that your brand is evolving, whether you like it or not? Absolutely. So, um, tell me a little bit about, uh, it would seem that if that's the case and brand is owned by others' perceptions, that there's got to be some kind of connection in order to say, stay relevant going forward. So how do you do that? Well, the, the connection is really made up by the gestalt of all the experiences and interactions that the consumers have with your product or with your company, whether that is through consumption and usage, whether that's through media, whether that's through service or the like, but it is those ongoing touch points that continue the definition and the build of the brand. 